Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a sphere in Gmesh. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a circular arc, create rule surfaces and basic manipulation using the file with extension .geo. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system 14.04 Gmesh version 2.8.5. As a prerequisite, users should have basic knowledge of creating points. If not, refer to the Gmesh Spoken Tutorials in the OpenFOAM series on this website. Let us begin. The origin of the sphere is at 0, 0, 0, and the other points of the sphere are at this plate. Let us now open Gmesh from the terminal. To open the terminal, press Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys. Now type gmesh space sphere one dot geo and press enter. Gmesh is opened. I have already created seven points for the sphere as shown here. To create the points of the sphere, kindly refer to the tutorial mentioned earlier. I now demonstrate how to make a circular arc. In Gmesh, a circular arc is strictly created less than pi. To create an arc, select circle arc option in the left hand side menu. Now I will select the rightmost point as the starting point of the arc. Then select this point here as the center point. Please note this is the point with the coordinates 0, 0, 0. And finally I will select a point on the top side as the end point of the arc. Repeat the process till all arcs are created. Remember to keep the same center point for all the arcs. Now select Rule Surface option from the left hand side menu to create the curved surface. Select the bounding edges for the surface as demonstrated here. Notice that the selected edges are now in red color. Press E on the keyboard to execute this selection. You can see that the surface has been created. This is indicated by the dotted line as shown here. Repeat the process and create all 8 surfaces of the sphere. On completion your sphere should look like this. Now go to the home folder. Locate and open the file sphere1.geo using the gedit text editor. Information related to the geometrical entities that we just created are stored here. In Gmesh, the general syntax is Geometrical entity identification number inside the parenthesis which equals to an expression. Here for point the expression is point identification number inside the parenthesis which is usually the next integer starting from 1 equals to xyz coordinates and the value of the mesh element size inside braces. This value is the desired mesh element size. The size of the mesh element will then be computed by linearly interpolating these values on the initial mesh. Let us now replace the numerical value of the points of the sphere to a variable s. At the beginning type s equal to 0 0.1. This is for specifying the value of the mesh element size of the sphere. To capture the boundary layer, we will refine the mesh near the sphere. For this purpose, we shall use the line mesh dot characteristic length from curvature equal to 0 0.05. The syntax mesh dot characteristic length from curvature will adapt the mesh with respect to the curvature of the geometrical entities. For volume creation, we require all the bounding surfaces. For this, at the end of the file type surface loop followed by its identity which is the next integer inside parentheses, which equals the identities of all the surfaces of the sphere within braces. Here. The identities are 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 
26 and 28. Now save and close the spear1.geo file. Let's switch to the GMesh interface. In the left hand side menu, click on physical groups, then add and then surface. Select all the surfaces of the sphere. Press E on the keyboard to execute this selection. Now again open sphere1.geo file in the text editor. Right at the bottom, notice that a new line of code has been added. Replace this number with sphere within quotes. This will help us to easily identify the boundaries of the sphere while post processing or otherwise. Now save and close the file. This completes this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create curved lines and surfaces, create a sphere and basic manipulation using the file with extension .geo. As an assignment, create a sphere with a larger radius. OpenFORM series is created by the FOSSI project IIT Bombay. FOSSI stands for Free and Open Source Software for Education. This project promotes the use of free and open source software tools. For more details, please visit FOSSI.in. The video at this link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Pawan Mehta from FOSSI Project IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.